Artists have a problem, okay? The problem is that they have organic joints, like a wrist, a shoulder, and an elbow, okay? Now, the reason this is an issue is that over time, you're holding a pen, right, while you're drawing stuff, and then you're slapping keys with your other hand. Sometimes you put the pen down and you slap the keys with both hands. And the issue is that if you do anything else with your life afterwards, I don't know, chop some stuff to make food, play some video games, so guess what? You're probably gonna get RSI. What's that? Repetitive strain injury. It just means you use your body a lot. That's it. That's all it means. It's the dumbest thing, but for some reason it happens to us. So what do you do? What do you do when you get RSI as an artist? Well, I'm going to tell you. Instead of using your hands and slapping your keyboard a bunch, you're instead going to start yelling at your computer. That's right. With all this AI art talk going on, everybody getting mad about everything, think about how nice it would be if you could just yell at your computer and make it do stuff for you, thereby saving your wrists, saving your joints, making yourself more powerful in the process, and frankly, letting you get on with your life as a human being. That's what we're here to do, baby. Let's make some good art. So let's get into it. Time is passing, as you can see by the light on my face. Don't worry about it. Talon, wake. Focus clip. Mm. New layer. Layer multiply. Wow, wow. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Opacity 70. Mm. Opacity 50. Layer clip. Undo that. Now redo that. New layer. Color this bad boy. Layer clip. Layer multiply. New layer. Layer move down three times. Group that. Copy that. Paste that. Merge layers. Enhance. Tell me that there's not a greater feeling in the world than yelling enhance at your computer in order to cause a sharpened filter to fire. Just tell me. Oh wait. So if this is exciting and you wanna get into it, I will show you how to do it. However, you have to, you must pay the bridge toll, okay? Which is, I've been told a like or a subscribe. Actually, I don't really care. I just wanted to feel a little bit of a thrill. You know, I'm over 30, never really got into the social media game. Maybe it's a thing, probably not. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk you through how this works. I will show you how to set up everything on your machine. It won't take very long. It won't, it just won't. What will take a long time is customizing it for yourself. So be prepared for that, but that's kind of, you know, that's later. You can get some of the exciting stuff right out of the box of this thing as we get started. So buckle in, let's go. Oh look, it is me, I'm little. You go here, okay? Talentvoice.com. You get to click whichever button applies to you, but in our case, we're going through the Windows stuff, okay? So you just hit download for Windows. That's it. Boom, there you got it. Look at that, so fast. Agree, yeah, whatever. Just hit all the buttons, let's go. Should you click the open button for the documentation website? Probably. You don't know what you're doing. Time to learn some stuff. It is now nighttime. So what we need to do is look down the bottom right corner, your system tray. That's this area. Over here, see that? Down there. Okay. You right click this and guess what? You're not actually done yet. You have to click on the speech recognition and you're going to have a thing here that says install conformer. You just click it, install it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now here's where things get maybe a little bit complicated depending on, you know, how comfortable with computers you are. Here's what we're going to do. You know, that, that documentation thing I said to click on, you probably didn't click on. We're going to go to that. Again, talentvoice.com slash docs. If you ever are trying to figure something out with this, go here. Look around, it's probably here. You now have talent installed and it can understand what you're saying, but it doesn't care, you know? It's sort of like a really bad friend. So what you wanna do is get some actual commands that allow you to make talent understand and obey you, right? Like the best kind of AI you can imagine. So what we're gonna do is look at this area here where it says getting scripts. So a script is a command, okay? Just let's program a drug, don't worry about it. All you're gonna do is just click on this nousej underscore talent link, okay? It's gonna open up a thing that looks very scary. 
if you're not a programmer. Terrifying. These programmers don't use pictures for basically anything. It's very confusing. But all you care about is the big green button. Very convenient. Click on the code button. Click download zip. Then from here, you're going to go to your downloads folder. Okay? Should look, you know, like this. You can get into it by hitting this button. Go into your start menu, type in downloads. Whatever. You should probably know where this is if you have a computer. You see now, Jay, tell them this is the thing we just got. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it on a desktop. That's easier to keep track of that way, okay? Now, on the desktop, we should see J underscore tail, okay? We should right-click that, and there should be an extract, a 7-zip, something like that, where you could just say extract here, okay? That's all we want to do. So now you should have the J talon dash main situation going on here. You see this, right? What we're going to do is we're going to copy this, okay? So this is where things, this is where you might get a little lost, so just eyes on the prize. You're going to go to your app data folder. So we're going to go to C, whatever the main hard drive is, users, whoever you are. Then you're going to go to uh, app data, roaming, critically. Scroll down until you find talent. It should be in the T section, you know. And then, finally, almost there, go into user. Yours will be empty. You can see I already have a bunch of stuff in here. What you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to paste. So you should end up like this with J underscore Talon in here. Now, what's going to happen as soon as you do this is probably the Talon's going to start listening to you. So if you want to stop Talon from listening, if you, things start happening, you calm down. You just say Talon sleep or right click down here and say quit Talon. You just turn it off if you need to. Talon wake. You can see Talon woke up, and every time I talk, you'll see it transferring what it thinks I'm saying or closest match to commands at the bottom of the screen. That's a very long one. If you don't see any words at the bottom of the screen, it's because it's not working. So that either means that your mic isn't getting picked up, or it's the case that you didn't install it right or something like that. So to just have a little bit of fun with some stuff, we're going to do some basic window manipulation. And again, these are non-specific. These are things that come out of the box with that now J set of commands that you've got. So this will work across everything on your machine. Focus code. Snap left. Focus clip. Snap right. Stuff's just fun. So you can say focus to get to a particular program. Say your Spotify, uh, Discord, maybe uh, Pure Ref, anything like that that you want to pull up. And then you can say something like snap to move it left or right. There's a bajillion of these commands. This is like the tiniest peak of the iceberg. But with that, we need to get into how you actually would do some cool stuff on the code side of things, you know, to make it so that you could have this do what you want inside of a, a program like Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop. So let's dig into that. What you're going to need to do is you're going to go back to that user folder. So again, that's app data, roaming, talent, user, and you're just going to add a new user. And all you do after that is you just say new folder, put your name on it like this, so fancy. Boom. Okay, now we go in there. And once we're in here, okay, simply there's nothing in here. You haven't added anything to this whole experience yet. So let's do that. Let's say a new mm, file. That's it. Just a text doc. We're going to say my commands, buddy. Oh, Jesus. And importantly, you have to rename the dot text to a dot talent. Your computer will freak out like this. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now we're going to open this up just using any kind of text editor like Notepad. So let's go ahead and open that up in Notepad. I'm not going to use VS Code here because I'm assuming you don't even know what that would possibly be. It'll be as ugly as possible. Excellent. Look at this. Terror of a blank page. So the structure for talent commands is actually very simple. So all you need to do is say what the command is on the left. And then give it the key press on the right. And then save it. And it'll work. So let's go ahead and put one in here. So I'm going to pick a dumb one here, which is the ruler bar. You know, one of those things you basically don't need until you need it. And then you got to be like, where the hell is it? So I want to be able to just say ruler in the future. So let's start there. So I already have a hotkey for this, but you will need an actual hotkey for it on the, you know, Clip Studio or Photoshop side of things. So you can hook into it with talent. So what we're going to do is give it a command and then uh, give it a key press. So now we're going to flip back into Notepad and put that ruler command, which is right here on the left with a colon. So this is the word you are going to say. And then you do a space, that's all you need. Put key, and then you use Talon's way of understanding what these keys are, which you, again, you can see in the Talon documentation. But for our purposes here, just control dash R, which is pushing both those buttons at the same time, as if you did with your hands, right? And we're gonna save it, give it a try. Ruler. 
Okay, so what have we covered? We've covered that you have wrists, probably, maybe, at least a wrist. Frankly, who knows? You got some joints. You need them to not be hurting all the time. You want to get a leg up on the competition. You want to yell at a computer and feel like Iron Man. You want to yell at Jarvis. Now you can, okay? You just go, you keep extending this stuff, keep learning about it, look at that talent documentation, figure it all out, and make something really nice for yourself that you can just yell at your computer all day, feel better about the world. It's going to be super good. If this matters to you, if it worked for you, if you had to make it something really cool, there's sort of a, there's a rule here, which is you got to let me know about it. And the thing is, I don't care about Twitter. I'm not really on anything. So just put it in the comments in the YouTube video and I'll probably see it there in like three weeks when I check on this. So let's do it. Let's see what happens and enjoy yourself screaming at your computer. Bye.